Okay guys, so what I'm going to do today is attempt to pull out all these uh, dents, as you can see here. Pretty bad. That one's really bad. That's been smacked in. You can see the side profile. Not good at all. So we're going to try to knock that out. I was going to try to get the floor done, but I'm waiting on materials and actually the uh, kill rust to get all that done. So I thought, well, might as well start swinging a hammer and do something. So uh, yeah, let's get, let's get to it. We'll see how we go getting this a little bit straighter than it is. Right, eh? so we're going to use the Porter Power, which is a little hydraulic jack, if you don't know. I don't know if this will work, we'll just see. We've got, you know, you can see there it's pushed in quite a lot. I managed to get that section there out. Got to cut that off. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I've just got it up off the back there. We'll see if we can just push this out a little bit further. Uh, yeah, see how we go. Right, oh, so sorry about the whippersnipper outside. Next door neighbour's doing a bit of uh, clearing. Uh, as you can see, this side's uh, pretty much done. A uh, couple of little spots here. I've just got to fill up with some weld there, but it's it's pretty much back into shape, which is good news. Now I've got to do this one here, and that one's going to take a little bit more work. What I'm, uh, I've, you know, trying to get this uh, quarter power in here to try and push out the sides but I've got really nothing to push off which is a bit of an, an issue um, we'll see how we go we might even go off the side of the gearbox here I just have to be careful not to damage anything but yeah maybe just a hammer just for now I'll probably just try and wallop it out a little bit as I go and then go from there maybe even off the uh, the back frame up the back there might be able to do that don't know but there uh, she definitely needs, definitely needs a, a little bit of whacking here and obviously a new battery tray too. All right, we'll continue. Just show you what I'm doing here. Just pushing it into like that. Slowly getting there. Thank you. 
Okay, so getting there, you can see just that bottom section now that I've got to get to. And we've got a little bit of a, a dip just in through here. So I'm gonna, I can't really swing a, a hammer in there, unfortunately, to knock that out. You can see it just there on that little ridge across there. So I thought I'll use this guy, pump it off the other side and see what happens. Let's see if we can just push that little crease out. Give it a go anyway. I think that's uh, good enough for that crease for now. When I mean, we're not looking for perfection here, that's for sure. <laughs> it's just slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady. Now this big one up here might be uh, a little bit more problematic because we can't get to it from the inside because of the inner skin. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yes, yeah, no we can't. Unless we can tuck up underneath, so that one might have to stay or might come up with a different plan, maybe the football, inflated football on the inside, maybe. Uh, we've got to tackle this one down here now, because that is a walloper. All right, let's see how we can uh, get this out. Righto, let's have a bit of a look. I think she's pretty pretty good, sight on profile. I'll tell you what, one thing about this old German metal, it's just, it's like it's elastic. It, you can just manipulate it and it doesn't, you know, split and fall apart like the, you know, the, the Chinese crap that we've got these days. It's so malleable, you know, you can just manipulate it. Like even all this, it's just, you know, completely trashed. I'll be able to get that, you know, get that straight. And I mean, that's um, that's pretty good. That's pretty much all we need to do. We don't need to go any more crazier than that. And from the back, you know, she's uh, honest. Uh, this one here, I can I can get to that big dent there. Um, I'm just going to put up put a bar up inside it, and I might be able to just pry it and uh, pop that dent out. So let's see how we go with that one. And there's another one just here too. We'll see if we can get that one out as well. Right, oh, so we've got pretty much all these done. That's all uh, rounded out and bashed in from the inside. One more part done. I'll probably fill up these little little holes here. I'll just get the TIG on those so we don't put too much heat into it. And we're going to move on to this section here now. Um, getting this. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yes. We might just uh, take the wheel off and we've got a little bit more room behind it and we're going to try to uh, straighten that out and weld it back in. Let's see how we go with this one.
Okay, so I just thought I'd pause here uh, just to sort of get my um, thoughts together. So the idea really is because it was split both sides, this part here was just flapping like crazy. So you've really got to weld either side to get some tension back into it and then you can start panel beating and trying to get the metal back to where it was. So we're slowly getting there. Uh, looks like that, that was cut a bit short. <laughs> So we probably needed that that little bit of a radius and it cut here, but you know, whatever uh, So I'm gonna have to just fabricate this little piece up here and put it in and um, get this to Follow where it should be. We'll just copy the other side. I suppose get some cardboard make a template But um, yeah, this obviously here still needs to be pushed out, but it's getting there. You know, you can see about an hour and a half. I mean, obviously you guys would have watched it on time lapse, and it'll, it'll just be over in a second with a bit of funky music behind it. But there's probably a couple of hours just in this panel to get it, uh, you know, where it needs to be. Now we're obviously not looking for perfection, but I want to get it pretty good. So uh, you know, from side on profile from here, you can see, you can see that it's it's dipped in quite a lot. So I had a little experiment just here with this red paint. And I just put a little bit of paint stripper on that section right there and you can see it's not going to attack the blue uh, So a bit of an experiment. I'm going to actually just paint this Or I might just do a section up there actually uh, And see if we can just get the red off and keep the blue underneath That might be a lot easier than trying to sand it with a disc And we might get a, a more of an untouched uh, blue on the underneath of it. So a bit of an experiment a little bit of a hole or a dint just up there, which we'll knock out. I might just do that now quickly while I'm in the banging mood, you know, this is what happens. All right, that's a little bit better, a little bit rounder again. Oh, actually right there just needs a little bit more Well, I think that part's done. We're gonna go and grab a brush and see how we go getting some of this red off Okay guys, well, I reckon oh, that's a lot of work and that's time lapse for you guys, but that's a few hours for me. It's getting there. I'm actually amazed that you could get so much of the blue back. Really a combination of the, the paint stripper and, you know, I think the trick was not to leave it on too long, but it doesn't really seem to affect the factory blue. I, I, I know their paint they used back in the days a lot, a lot stronger and harder to get off, so... Probably the top layers, the white and the red, were pretty cheap, you know, paint. So it eats it away just perfectly so you can get it off. And just all I'm doing now with the Vibra is just going over with some light light sandpaper to get rid of most of the red, because obviously that's all got to go. But, mate, I tell you, that's, uh, that's come, come a long way. There's hope. <laughs> There's hope for this thing. 
I think the challenge will be that big long green panel to get that looking old. I'll have to pull out all the uh, artistic stops with that one. I might even employ my mum because she's a painter. We'll see how we go. <laughs> all right, guys, well, I think I'm going to leave it for this, for this one for today. I'm knackered. I'm going inside to have a coffee. I'll see you in the next instalment. You.